like maybe to make sure that maybe we can be able to understand all the topics that we have already covered. I will give you all the topics that are examinable, that are that you require more of your time to understand because you must be asked in your questions and uh, you cannot miss a question from those parts. And uh, before I do that, uh, today I don't want to take too much of your time. Maybe we can take one hour or one hour and 20 minutes so that we can go through part of the firewall that I want us to go through. Then after that, we will be able now to, uh, I will be able to leave you now to go and look at all the questions that have challenges so that next time when we meet, we can be able now to look at the questions that we can start with. And then maybe we do some uh, thorough revisions. So I would like you use your past papers. But uh, before we continue, maybe we can uh, give your views on a part of introduction before I start on firewalls. Is there any challenge on uh, where we started? On before where we started, because because I know you are having another teacher. So do you have any challenge on the introduction part? So do you have any challenge? Yes, Ian, I can see you are typing. Eh? Evans, do you have any issue? Okay, okay. So according to Ian, we can reverse. What about Evans? Evans, do you have any issue? Yes, Evans. Okay, okay. Uh, the conclusion is that uh, we will revisit those parts. Uh, that is from next week. We will be able to start from introduction and uh, we will be able to tackle each and every topic up to where we started. I know that there are some topics that we need to cover on introduction. And I think I can use PowerPoint maybe to air out the parts of uh, introduction that we need to discuss. And uh, following your course outline that you have, I hope you have that course outline. If you don't have, please, you can tell me. I said uh, the course outline. So if you look at uh, our course outline, uh, what we, look, we need to look at introduction, we need to look at definitions, definition of terms. And in this definition of terms, what we need to look at, we can maybe look at what is communication, uh, maybe what is an odd, uh, maybe what is an odd, maybe what is a multiplexing, uh, maybe what is a server, what is a client, uh, maybe what are devices, etc. Because that, those are various topics that you are supposed to cover on that. And after that, that is when you looked at what you call data communication. And then data communication, we are looking at now how we can be able to communicate uh, to different users using different devices, uh, the nouns that we have already talked about. And that's why we looked at the channel. So we still need to look at uh, another definition, which we call a tunnel. 
So in this, that is where we looked at the channel where we started with the setting or a setter. And then we said maybe we use uh, uh, communication systems. Maybe from the communication system, we said we have, before communication system, we said we have encoder. Maybe we have communication system. We have encoder, decoder. Then after that, we have receivers. So all those are the channels that we talked about, of which we'll be able to revisit it uh, with the time, the moment we have that. Then from that, we talked about classifications. Classifications of a network. And within this classification of network, we understand that we have peer, P2P, P2P, and we have the server-based. And that is why we say when you look at now in this communication, we need to understand the type of communication. Maybe we can still look at type of communication. Either we are using simplex communication or we are using full duplex communication and many other that you have in that communication. Maybe we have half du duplex, half duplex communication. So we'll be able to revisit those. Then after that, uh, then after that, that is when we looked at what you call the types, the types of networks. And uh, these types of networks are not new to you. Um, because you look at LAN, we look at one, uh, we look at man, we look at campus area network, can, uh, we look at personal area network. And uh, maybe if you can be able to understand, we have the P VPNs, virtual private networks that you are supposed to understand on that. And uh, there are many challenges that you find here and the challenges that you find uh, these are the ones that we said we have jitters we have jitters and we have uh, distortion we have distortion we have attenuations and many other so these are just a summary of uh, what we had in introduction, but uh, this is this is part of it, but there are some things that we need to understand inside the, the introduction part uh, of this communication. Then after that, maybe we can understand protocol. And I think we started from that protocol. We started pro from protocol. And uh, within this introduction, there are many things that I'll be able to talk about inside the, the introduction part. Uh, where when you look at now the, the channel, how does it communicate? Uh, what are the impasses that we have within the communication? When you look at uh, networks, classification of networks, what are the advantages maybe uh, on how you can be able to communicate? When you look at this, uh, maybe in Iran, you find that there are some challenges and these challenges are uh, solved by what you call carrier sense, multiple access with uh, collision detection, or maybe collision avoidance, or maybe we can use what you call the access control as part of a way that you can be able to solve all these issues that we have within the communication of a network. So within this, uh, then that is when we talk about technologies, and uh, most of this technology that we have is what you call the wired technology and uh, the wireless, the wireless technology. So when you're looking at the wired technology, uh, there are different topologies. Topologies used. And before we come to this, the topology used, maybe we have, um, we have bus topology, we have star topology, and many other that we have the, when we are talking about the wired. But when you are talking about the wireless, the wireless, uh, this is where sometimes, if you look at, if you advise, eh, 
there is another unit that is most recovered and it takes time huh? and i would urge you maybe you look at that and uh, maybe be able to understand eh? uh, how it is supposed to be tackled eh? and uh, we understand what is wireless technology so in this case eh, we need to look at uh, topologies topology is used and one of the topology that is mostly used within this eh, is uh, when you look at now what you call distributed distributed topology then we have the centralized centralized technology let's look at the mobile phone that we use it uses a distributed technology where the services is coming from the base station and the base station is either safaricom but um, when you're looking at that communication there is one uh, technology that is mostly used in one technology which is called PSTN PSTN public switch to communication network public switch to the communication network that is mostly used to control the network uh, the network communication the network communication and when it is controlling the network communication it is controlling the network communication in all diversities. Maybe if you are talking about Safaricom, Airtel, Orange, ETC, they are being controlled by the PSTN. So in this case, case eh, we can say the PSTN is mostly on a, a communication authority. So it is controlled by the, uh, the government. It's controlled by the government. So the government is the one that is controlling all these communication in terms of what are the things that we need to control. One, we need to, to control about tariffs. Uh, maybe we need to control about security of individual. So security of individual. That's when maybe somebody do does what you call cyber stalking or uh, cyber boring. So automatically you can be sued. Eh? And uh, the government is the one that is supposed to take through the case tariff maybe if you look at safaricom it is charging five bob from safaricom to safaricom from safaricom to airtel maybe we have another charge now in this case eh, why if now the government if there now a certain uh department or maybe a certain uh network tries to change the tariffs maybe i say that i want to use 20 bob now, automatically, the government intervenes through what you call the communication authority. So it is the one that is controlling the access. So it can control the access. When are we supposed to access this network? So we'll be able to look at this. And that's why, if you look at the wireless technologies, technologies are most of these improved technologies, improved technologies, we have... Uh, Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth, and uh, maybe other Bluetooth. We have Bluetooth, and many other that we have, uh, uh, maybe that you can use either uh, as an individual, as a single communication, or as a double communication. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. I had not shared. Please, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I think I can uh, get back to this. Eh? Uh, that is what we are saying. We need to look at. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I had not shared. Eh? So this is what we are saying. We need to look at the communication. We need to look at the channels that of communications. That is introduction. We need to look at types of networks that we have. And uh, how should we solve the issues of networks within the communication? Uh, use either carrier sense multiple access with correction detection or correction avoidance, or use the access control. Then we look at maybe the types of networks. And uh, one of them is one man, can, pan, VPN. We still have LAN ETC. Then challenges. What are, what are challenges that are involved within the communication? One of them is jitters, distortion, attenuation, ETC. Topologies used, we look at these topologies. And uh, in most cases, because we are looking at the one and wireless technology, 
in wire in wired we use this but uh, when you talk about wire, in wired we use this but uh, when you talk about in wireless in wireless we talk about distributed and centralized then we will still look at PSTN. Remember, uh, this is what I was explaining. Uh, STA, PSTN, public switch to communication net, telecommunication network, is the one that is controlled by the government. And uh, one docket that is given that mandate is the CA, Communication Authority, that controls the network communications. And uh, this network communication is either switching off, switching on and off of the communication, that is the network, or controlling the tariffs, controlling the security of individuals, controlling the access of individuals, and making sure that we have the right communication for these devices that we have. So we look at this eh, in terms of understanding in deep, deep in detail eh, so that we can be able to come up with a conclusion. And that's why we are saying the improved technologies that we find within the wireless, one of the one is Wi-Fi wireless fidelity. We have the Bluetooth and many others that we have uh, uh, nowadays. Uh, we have Ducto. Still, Ducto can uh, be termed as a uh, uh, part of it uh, that allows you to share files, that allows you to share data within the network uh, when you are connected within a given network. So all these will be able to end uh, with other presentations that we have. And I think uh, what I started with is what we call the protocols, uh, where we discuss about different types of protocols and uh, maybe how we can, using what you call the OSI layers, the OSI, using the OSI layers and uh, what you call the TCP uh, stroke IP. Sometimes we call it the internet internet layers that we have within the communication. So for this case, eh, uh, maybe allow me to first of all pause at that time, at that point, or maybe to end at that point, uh, so that next time when we come, we will be able to start from introduction. We'll be able to understand eh, why we need to have all these eh, before we come to this protocol. And that's why I have said, eh, uh, if you can, uh, if you want to understand more on wireless technology, because in our case, eh, uh, we are looking at uh, wired, we are looking at wired. Uh, if you want to understand more on wireless technology, and uh, we try to uh, understand about satellites, how it is communicated or how it is connected, remember, we still have to look at now uh, different types of uh, communications in terms of. Uh, uh, what you call uh, line of sight communication, maybe using satellite. And it's a very interesting because if you look at the satellite nowadays, we are looking at uh, uh, one of the satellites that we have in our country for data communication, for video, con for video com communications, or maybe for shooting some uh, data from one point to another. We always understand that Line of sight is mostly applicable because of the networks that we use. Maybe the Safari it uses line of sight. So you'll be able to look at uh, this. Maybe if you are using horn, what is a horn in communication? Uh, uh, we are using disks, parabolic disks. These disks that we always use to allow communication, the Safari uses that. Uh, maybe to allow communication. If you go to the CA uh, where it is located, you can see those disks. What are the advantages of those disks? So all those are part of introduction that you're supposed to cover in uh, data communication. Uh, you allow me, maybe we start that next time or next week, because today I wanted us to complete with uh, what you call the firewall. So I think we are okay up to that point, so that next time we can maybe uh start from uh, uh that introduction uh, we can start from that introduction so allow me maybe to move to that part uh, which we are calling firewalls allow me to use that so can we move to that part 
Can we move to that uh, firewalls? Okay, there is, what about the Rifi as, uh, I think you can maybe elaborate further, uh, Ian, eh? uh, L means what, L-I. L-I means what? Right fidelity. I think it's a connection of uh, wireless fidelity. But uh, maybe we can uh, do a research on that. It's uh, just a connection of that. If you look at the advanced communication, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure on that. Just do a research on this. So I think we can move to firewalls so that I can end uh, this presentation that I'm talking about. So if you look at what we discussed about the communication, we said a network. This is one of the security mechanisms that you are supposed to make sure that now you have within your computer in order to always make sure that the network is not having some issues. Eh? And uh, I was looking at a challenge that we can have. Uh, uh, we find that if, you, if your firewall is over, it means your proxy server. So it's like we have already uh, done away with proxy server. It's like we have done away with what you call the proxy server. A proxy server mostly is the one that allows you to connect on a remote networks. Right now, uh, right now, you are using a site, a website. But this website that you are using currently and uh, the network that you are using the network that you're using, it can block the proxy server. And when it blocks the proxy server, it means that you cannot access that website. So for you to bypass that proxy server, some, sometimes we use this, eh, and I want to go directly to the internet so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Uh, firewalls is always implemented on a proxy server. Uh, we use what you call the browse. I'll use my internet maybe to download that browse. We use the browse, which is a, a free remittance eh, that allows you to connect, uh, maybe to bypass the proxy. So if I don't want to use a proxy, which is very wrong, huh? because if I don't want to use the proxy, that means computer, my computer is not secure. And uh, I was trying to download one. Huh? because I had already implemented that, I don't want to remove, eh? because I had already installed it. I had already installed it in my computer, and this is the one that I had already installed. I think you can see that. So when I say protect, protect me, uh, so automatically uh, there are some countries that are houses. So you can maybe, we use American, eh? we use American. If you can see, this one is the one that has, if you look at this, eh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, you can use one of them and it is able to communicate. So it means eh, you'll be able to bypass your password uh, within that. Uh, and uh, when I'm using this platform that you call Help Desk, uh, help help desk if i'm using help desk and maybe uh, i want to access your computer uh, i had already still installed that i can still use that any desk if i want to use this maybe i can use any desk and uh, maybe when you try to download on your side eh, and uh, maybe we can try this eh? If you're using your computer, maybe you can download a, an application called AnyDesk and maybe you can send the IP address as we continue. And uh, then I will be able to enter this eh, address that you'll give me. Then when I press enter, automatically I'll be able to connect. So maybe who is using, who is using a computer here? Is there anybody who is using a computer? 
or a laptop. So anybody who is using a laptop here, I don't want to use with the one who is using a, a phone. Evans and Ian, what are you using? Okay, you're using a phone? Okay, uh, don't worry, don't worry. Next time we'll be able to look at now how we can be able to use a phone. I don't want to use your phone at this time because we'll be able to interrupt with our class. But the moment you are using this any desk, and uh, then I try to, maybe if you download that application, always it gives you this eh, code. Eh? So if you send this code to me, and then I enter here, I connect, I will be able to see all the files that you have in your computer. So in this case, eh, uh, if you try to unlock uh, the proxy, so it means this computer is not, you can be able to, the site that is connected or the network that you are using currently, whoever is controlling that, the administrator can be able to bypass everything that you have or can delete everything that you have. So for you to avoid all those communications, that's why we always uh, make sure that now the server is always connected. And uh, when it is connected, you can be able to see all the information. So I was saying you can bypass. I don't want to bypass this because I'm putting my computer to threat. I'm putting my computer to threat, so I switch off. I use a normal one. I was using this because uh, I was trying to use this uh, e-learning platform, and it, it was not working. The network provider, which provided to me to this internet, was uh, already had already blocked the site. So what I did is uh, to bypass the, the proxy so that I can use that site, irrespective uh, of whether it is blocked or not. So it is like we are hiding. But uh, I'm putting my computer to a threat. That's why I have switched over, because now they rectified that. And now they can be able to, I can be able to access using the uh, proxy, using the uh, proxy. So that's why we are saying the firewall is one of the important part of the communication because the moment you go to that or you block to that, automatically you are blocking what you call the firewalls and the firewall is not working. So you understand the function of a firewall is always to protect inside network and outside network. And if you can look at the definition here, you are saying the firewall is a device that filters. The work is to filter. Filter means if anything is coming inside, which is not a good information. So automatically it is blocked. And I think I trying to work with uh, maybe the presentation of firewalls here. And uh, uh, maybe I was looking at this uh, interpretation here. I don't want uh, maybe. So we find all these are communications that are created on our firewalls. Mostly we use the uh, upper bounds. If you can, maybe you can use uh, maybe the client. <laughs> I don't know whether there is somewhere we have the client. Uh, uh, start client. Oh, no, no. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So all these. Uh, yeah. Just a minute. Just a minute. If it fails, maybe uh, I'll be able to continue. As I look for that because we have a lot of connections here. Mm. So you can see this, the, the core network, we are using IP version six, which is, uh, it's not supposed to be around currently because we are not we are not supposed to use ip version 6 okay uh, maybe check uh, the status which we are supposed to look at
So few router by state show all. So you can see we are showing all, right? Huh? Filter by is enabled, so you can filter everything. But I wanted to see this uh, communication. Okay, okay. Just maybe we can uh, look at other views of interpretations. So where we are saying uh, inside network and less trust for the on outside network. So anything that is coming from outside and anything that is moving outside uh, the network, it is always controlled by this what you call the firewall. When you say the firewalls, uh, we, we always invoke or uh, must be tamper prover. Eh? So if it is deleting, it should be able to delete. If it is invoking, in a return. If uh, this information is not supposed to be accessed, automatically it revokes uh, those communications. Of which we have different types of firewalls. I don't want to go on deep on these types of hours because one of them we have the packet filtering gateways or screen routers uh, state for inspection firewalls application proxy remember we are using proxy which is very important guns we have personal firewalls and uh, all these are able to perform some functions on each and every uh, situation that we have and uh, within these communications we always understand that there is uh, a lot of uh, communication that goes on application because this is where we look at now uh, packets that are supposed to be sent or data that is supposed to be sent in and out. Uh, if you can see this, uh, it is using port 25. Uh, and uh, if you can be able to go directly to port number 25, this is what we say it is using Telnet, Telnet protocol. It is used what you call the Telnet protocol which is at port number 25 uh, in terms of uh, network communication. And that's why uh, we understand that this pro application, we always use these applications in most cases uh, where we understand that we can be able to send messages, we can be able to send emails, we can be able to look at uh, light data communication and many other that uh, we have. GANs are proxy, these are like proxy firewalls, and that's why I've said, uh, if you do away with these proxy firewalls, automatically now, you are putting your computer onto a thread. Personal firewalls, uh, these uh, are able to block the unwanted files or traffics that we have in your computer. So if you look at uh, most of the threats that you find eh, because of some uh, insecure computers, we always find one of them is a eh, uh, denial of service. And uh, denial of service, it becomes as a, an intrusion. And this intrusion, it must be affected. It must be able, it must affect the communications that we have. So that's why we always install what you call intrusion detection systems. And this intrusion detection system, they are able to respond to a certain alarm that has already been coming. I think you have ever downloaded a certain data and then it tells you the server has been blocked. Might be it is a proxy server that has been blocked or the server, the proxy itself has already blocked the communication that is within the line of sight when you have that communication. So if you can understand this, uh, in this case, uh, when you're using security, that is why we said we use what you call encryption. And uh, encrypt, encryption, and this encryption is when you maybe put a text in cipher text. Uh, so you have what you call uh, the cipher text in terms of communication, so that we can now uh, allow more data communication in this. So for this case, eh, uh, we cannot exhaust the firewalls in terms of uh, communications because we must be able to go to security uh, in deep uh, where we need to look at uh, simple security, uh, pride security in terms of communications, how we can be able to look at uh, solving those using some algorithms. And most of these algorithms are covered in uh, network security as a unit, network security as a unit. So allow me to end at that point. Huh? If uh, there is a question maybe you can ask. Uh, and uh, when I end at that point, I want you to go, uh, I'm leaving this 
as part of a class that we are supposed to do, you go to your question paper and then you look at the topics that are uh, that have issues. Eh? And because now we have said we will start from introduction, just look at the topics that are from uh, where we started with the protocols, etc. Remember, most of the topics that we are supposed to understand, and we cannot miss our questions from that. Just understand the way we can calculate the Nyquist theorem. We can calculate using the Nyquist theorem. Uh, maybe we understand about the we understand about the modulations in total modulation. That is uh, analog to analog modulation, digital to analog etc. Remember when you are talking about Manchester modulation, uh, when you are talking about differential, all those you need to understand them. You cannot miss a question from there. So you must have a question from all those topics that we covered. Then understand about the technology that we have already discussed and uh, maybe the OSI area. So try to understand the OSI area and the internet layer and uh, you'll be able to make sure that you can be able to solve some issues or maybe some questions uh, from all those topics that we have. Understand about switching. Remember switching is a very common question in NEC. Understand about multiplexing and how it is supposed to communicate on that. So what I want you to do is go to your past paper, look at the questions that how they are examined. Maybe you can look at the question, maybe the question paper. Just look at any question paper that you have, just one. And uh, then you go through the question paper. You tell me how many topics, uh, maybe all the topics that we have covered, have we catered for all topics that we have covered? If you have not catered for those topics that we have covered, next class, eh, the first thing that I will ask is how many topics did you come across that we have not covered in that question paper? And you tell me the year of that question paper that we discussed. Is that clear? Is that clear? Because if it is a division, we must start from there. Go to your question paper, any question paper that we have, and maybe we can try to communicate, even Sandy, and maybe because we are the ones who are in this class for now, you can try to communicate. If now Evans is tackling on uh, 2016, uh, maybe Ian Siru, you can, uh, if, if Evans is tackling on 2016, maybe Ian, you can tackle on 2017, uh, so that we cannot have. Uh, two people doing the same paper. So you go through the question paper, all the questions that we have, just write aside, eh? this is topic one, topic two, maybe this is a uh, multiplexing ETC, until you solve all the issues. Eh? Then you come and say, this topic we have not covered, or this topic we have covered, but we have not understood. So let me rest at that point, and then maybe we can continue from next week as part of uh, a thorough revision. And I will start from introduction, but before that, I will start from uh, taking all the questions that are challenging. Then after that, I will be able now to go to the introduction. Uh, we do some recap, and then we start now our revision. Is it okay now? So can I move, or can I give you time now to go through the question papers and maybe try to come up with uh, some questions that are challenging? Okay, let's meet next week. Thank you.